at Imperial College, like all organisations in the country, uh, we face a challenge from the European Landfill Directive to do something with our food waste other than send it to landfill. Uh, the way that we decided to uh, approach this challenge, meet this challenge, is that we'll compost that food waste and divert over 50 tonnes um, that would normally have been sent to landfill and turn it into something which we use here at South Kensington within the grounds. To enable the process to take place, we've had a purpose-built unit called the Comp Pod built to house the composting unit and contain any smells um, that it might produce. Um, and that enables a safe working environment in which the process takes place. Compod is a world first. It allows all the pro composting process to take place in a self-contained unit. This could almost be relocated anywhere in future if the need arose. The main benefit of doing the process on site is that we're minimising transportation. Food waste travels a very short distance to the comp pod from where it's created in the main kitchens here at Sherfield and where the other cafes where we collect from as well. Um, and then it can be, once it's converted into compost, it can be used just a stone's throw away in the grounds of South Kensington. In addition to meeting the challenge of the EU directive, we're also making financial savings in diverting this waste from landfill. Research on the investable compost was carried out here at Imperial College. That research made sure that the process worked at the optimum level. This meant looking at the food particle size, uh, the carbon nitrogen mix, and the wetness and dryness of the waste to make sure that the whole process operates as well as it can. The challenge that we set out to do was to produce a process that operators could use and comply with the regulations. The regulations state very clearly that there needs to be a temperature regime for pathogenic depletion, especially E. coli and Salmonella. Also, it is required a certain degree of biodegradation, and also it is important that the product obtained from the composting can be used for the benefit of the operator or someone else. So any remaining food after a meal is then segregated into its own food waste caddy, where it's separated from napkins and other bodies. Then the caddy is taken on to the composter for processing. Staff in the facilities management support team collect the caddies from the main Sherfield kitchen and other restaurant and cafe areas around the campus and take these to the composter. Once at the composter, the waste is tipped out onto the bench unit where it's sorted through to check that there are no other items apart from food waste. Once that's done, it's gradually fed through the macerator. This chops up the food waste into particles of roughly the same size. To make sure that the composting process works well, it's important that the food waste isn't too wet. Consequently, once it's left the macerator, the waste is automatically transferred to a dewatering unit which removes excess water from the waste. The dewatered waste is then weighed and an optimum amount of wood pellets is added. This creates a good carbon nitrogen mix which enables a good bacteriological process to take place. The waste is then ready to be tipped into the unit where the composting actually begins. Once the lid's closed, then the mechanism feeds that food waste into the composter. Once inside the unit, the bacteria goes to work breaking down the food waste. This process generates its own heat, which will be sufficient to kill off any pathogens, that's to say harmful items, during the process. It takes 10 weeks approximately for the food to go through the composting process. Once it's come out the other end of the machine, then we'll keep it to mature for about another three months, after which it will then be used on the grounds. So that's how lettuce and tomato left on a plate can be turned into a useful product that can prevent all of our green spaces here on campus at South Kensington.